That rude dude threw down heavyweight. I had him solid, but he ran, baby. Ran. And now I'm flat nowhere. You were magnificent. Alone against a creature trapped in an undersea cave. How about a kiss for Monsieur Magnificento? My lips are warm like bread from the oven. Slow down. Remember rules one and two, both of which told you to get over yourself. Both before my magnificent! Yum, yum! Give me some! I'm gonna check on Bentley. You have fun being you. I'm mad to the Jack to the Iverson, baby! He should be back in bed after the thrashing he took. Another blow to the head and your brain could snap. Quit your worrying. I feel fine. Did Dimitri find my cane? No. Dr. M managed to get away with it. Then... we gotta go. You're going nowhere, pal. Any attempt on Dr. M or the Cooper Vault will be impossible with these radar towers linked to the missile turrets. Wait a second, Penelope, have you completed that work we talked about on your RC car? Yeah? Oh, I see where you're going. That'll work. Smash the drones, siphon their power, and fry the tower's matrix. Perfect. Let's get your car onto a drone patrol pipe. Not to be too obvious in exposing my ignorance, but uh, what in the world are you two talking about? Explaining it would include a lot of multi-syllabic words. I could just show you. Bring on the demo. Pendekin, can you launch my RC car to that height? Grr! With the fireworks, it will fly as the bird. Fly, bird! Fly! All right, my sweet princess of electronic, but it's time to smash things up.
three radar towers are cooked! Penelope, you're wonderful! With the guided missiles offline, we've got a chance at air superiority here. I'm in. I've rested long enough. You sure? This is my legacy we're fighting for. You think I want to sit this one out? Understood. The biplane launcher, although untested, should get you a lot. It's gonna be tough up there. Be tougher down here watching others fight my battles for me.
Oh boy, here comes the big gun. And my god, I mean a giant spike whale dragonfly thing covered in robotic dust. Wait, Dr. M plunged into that monstrosity. Ah, the Cooper is skyward. So good, so nice. Time you felt what it's like to play second fiddle. I am the master here. Sidekick no more. Just like your father. You don't know anything about me or my father. Really? Well, who let you in on the secret of this place, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney works for you? This was all a setup to get the cane. No, my boy. Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with a guy who tried to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Just look at the real leader of your man. Bentley. Whatever. We're friends. Equals. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? That's enough. <laughs> Time to meet the past. Bentley, you there? Yeah, pal. I'm about to head inside the vault, and I want you and Murray to come with me. We're a team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Guy! 
We'll have the panic king give the van a boost. Stand clear, Sly. We're about to get off. The fuse is lit. Buckle up, Bentley. We're about to fly. Yahoo! We're never doing that again. This place is amazing! Yeah, it's gotta be like at least a hundred years old! An archaeological marvel! Glad you boys are impressed, because it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Hmm, could be dark in there. My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. This place was started by Slight and Common II. He built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. Sir Galath of the Knights of the Cooper Order. Honorable knight and cunning thief. Salim Al-Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves.
The strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. 